Hello people and welcome to 7 Days to Die. A quick backstory on how I am where I am. I started playing with the zombies on and I used a pit that's over there. A big pit with a mesh on top, nice and easy, easy cheesy. I built my base on top of a Kraken book. I am playing on the Xbox so there have been some crashes and at one point part of my base reset. I have a city all the way to the north of me, all the way up here, a kilometre and a half, two kilometres around that area, and I thought to avoid the zombies and to avoid getting caught out in the open when it crashes, I'd try and dig a tunnel, which you can see here, all the way up to the sea. So I done that and I stopped at the passing gas here, I stopped at a couple of stores here. There is a side tunnel that runs up to a couple of cracker books up there, but this tunnel here continues all the way up here to these four stores here and stops there. There is a bank just in this top corner as well which is within easy distance. I figured with that much loot, running backwards and forwards down a tunnel is going to take a long time so I thought I'd expand the tunnel and try and make it into a bit of an underground highway. So that's what I started doing and then I figured I'd just continue building a load of stuff down there and I'd turn the zombies off and just turn it into a bit of a builder. And when I was going underground I am about 120 meters or so underground so it's quite a long drop all the way down. I've got hay at the bottom and what I didn't realize was that because I had a ladder there I ended up dying the first time I done that jump. All the way down, broke my legs and dead. Evil Knievel achievement. I am on the Xbox, I think I did mention that. And so yeah, there are always problems and whatnot. But yeah, straight down and crash dead. So if you do build a big old drop, remember just to remove the bottom bit of the ladder. And here is the start of my highway. You can fit two bikes on each side. And I figured at the start of a highway, you need to have a garage which builds the uh, bikes to keep everything going. So we've got a couple of bikes that are in progress whenever you walk into a garage. There's always some work in progress, isn't there? They're always working on something. Scooters rides. A shout out to Borderlands for the people who play Borderlands. Good games. We've got the fuel down here. We've got bike parts. We've got a counter with a shotgun for defense. I think that's empty. There's some random bits and bobs there. Stuff to work with. We've got a workshop back here. Some stuff there, shelves there, table to work on some things. The workbench there. A magnum. If his noise comes out shooting, and bang bang, people are going to get hurt. And we've got a living place attached to our workshop. We've got a TV. The reason this is double wide was because I was trying to put a double wide TV here. Because I saw double wide TVs in buildings and apartments and I thought we'd like a double wide TV but you pick it up in two pieces and you can't put it back together again. We've got a window so we can see if anybody's turning up and needs help out in the workshop. We've got a kitchen. This is the kitchen I'm currently using at the moment for uh, building down underground. We've got a bathroom with the basic amenities. you got a shower, toilet, and then we've got the bedroom. Simple bedroom, desk to do some writing, picture, some cupboards or drawers there for more clothing. So yeah, that's the garage and living areas for our mechanic who's going to be a vital part of this underground city highway and we sprint across to the next area because I don't actually have a working bike down here at the moment because the highway isn't that far we've got our gun store next although it doesn't actually have a sign saying gun store it just has a kind of warning sign we go in here a nice little tunnel area so that anyone causing trouble or trying to break in well, they're trapped and they're going to get shot. 
a big old vault door to protect things. And then we've got our gun safes around here for... what do we have? SMGs. We've got shotguns, rocket launchers, pistols, hunting rifles and sniper rifles, uh, AKs and magnums. And that way a mean old grumpy person can stand here selling guns and haggling and shooting all the bad guys down there. Into the back area we've got a forge to keep making bullet casings and whatever else is needed. A little table there. A workbench on this side. That's obviously for the gunpowder and the components to make the gunpowder. We've got half finished guns in here. We've got all the parts in there and that will be for odds and sods. And as we go upstairs a nice kitchen here nice and fancy refrigerator, a corner cabinet, pictures and plants and a floating TV because sometimes TVs float you know new age of technology and all that a nice big old bedroom table lamps plenty of pictures, a TV and into the double entrance bathroom the shower, a couple of cabinets, a toilet got a picture opposite the toilet because when you're sitting down it's nice to have something to look at and then we go back downstairs and back outside onto the highway if we can make it round the corners thank you very much and on down the highway we go to where it kind of dead ends really as I say there's a couple of kilometers for me to carry on building so that will take a little while which is why at the moment it dead ends here and this is my work in progress mine these are the crates in which I just dump everything random this I'm trying to sort out at the moment that is the tunnel that stretches on forever and ever and ever I won't go running down there just now because that will be slow and boring this bit of the mine will be fenced off so that as you drive past on the highway you'll be able to see it but you won't access it through here you'll be able to drive in here and then you can park all your bikes in here mail there for anybody who's currently staying at the mine doorway here I will put in some benches and some crates and whatnot here to make it look more miney I guess miney is the word we've got our stairs up here as I say this bit's a work in progress we're going to turn this into a big old dorm room, bedroom for the miners. This bit shall be a big old rec room, coffee room, tea. We'll put in a TV or two maybe, whatever they need. We'll turn this bit into a bit of a bathroom. And if we head back downstairs, that will be the mine proper down there where we'll be going and digging out all the bits and bobs that we need hunting for metal, more rock because this uses a lot of stones there are some plans to put in um, a cafeteria maybe some fancy cafe areas um, I've got ideas for a kind of hospital area, a hospital wing I've got some farm area plans, ideas in my head that's going to be a lot of work but I think I can make it work. I've got some ideas for a kind of what I'd like to do as a suburb area, a neighbourhood, maybe a couple of them. I mean we're only here so we can put in some farms and stuff, hospitals, but I can do a couple of suburb areas, nice big areas on the way to the city. But if you'd like me to put in maybe some of your houses, some ideas that you'd like to see underground. I'm up for that. Just let me know in the comments. Tell me what you'd like to see down here. Tell me your thoughts and feelings on this so far. Any tips, tricks, ideas that you've got, share them with me. I'd like it. It'd be absolutely wonderful. I'll see what I can put in here as well. Let me know what you think. And yeah, if you'd like to see how all this turns out, how this underground city highway continues, keep your eye out for the next video. And until then, stay safe and have fun.